eventually they have to have a replacement. They don't have one on the roster. So I look at they they've developed Jacoby Brissett and Jimmy Garoppolo. I believe they can develop another quarterback. But we've only seen a couple times in NFL history that is that we have seen a legend actually pass the baton in an organization to another legend. Joe Montana did it with Steve Young. They were very, very fortunate. Brett Favre did it with Aaron Rodgers. I don't, I don't see this happening in New England. Garoppolo, they had to trade him. They would not have gotten any compensation. They tried to make a long-term deal with him. It wasn't nearly in the range for this contract that he got. So Jimmy G, Jimmy G also turned down going to Cleveland also last year. Him and his agent, Tim, Tom, him and Tom Brady, they have the same agent. Donnie. You know, so Jimmy Garoppolo had to go. I mean, how can you regret? Tom Brady took you to another Super Bowl at 40. So I would just say no, because Tom has been so successful. I, I, mean, I was thinking they were going to regret it. Like in the moment, I didn't think they should have traded him. I, I, in December, when we saw what I thought was age finally catching up to Brady, where he had right. his worst month of the year, I said, man, if he goes into the playoffs and gets beat around by Jacksonville, or if they had to play the Chiefs early on, so they ended up not having to. Like, I thought there were a lot of scenarios where they were going to look at how the season ended and mm -hmm. say, did we trade away a guy who would, in 2019, have been the better option? Is yeah, that, that was a legitimate question. It was a legitimate question. And then how did Tom Brady answer that question? A 10-point fourth quarter comeback against the Jags, the best defense in football in the fourth quarter in the AFC Championship game, and then the most record-setting Super Bowl, <laughs> where he threw 500 yards, breaking his record from last year's Super Bowl. Three touchdowns, no picks. And aside from those strip sack, didn't make a seemingly a mistake all game. So let's just pretend for a moment they had kept Garoppolo. And that Garoppolo never saw the field because he wouldn't have. And that Brady had just done what he did. What are they doing now? Like, when, when evidently the market for Garoppolo is highest paid quarterback in the league. Now, if he was with New England, it wouldn't have been that high. But it wouldn't have been what they had offered him. Right. Were they going to franchise tag him and have $22 million to Garoppolo with Brady making 14 That probably isn't going to sit well with anyone. No. Much less your team capologist. And so what are you going to do? If you let him walk for nothing, you get a compensatory third-round pick. Mm -hmm. So given, a, in hindsight, Jenna, I think they made the right, in the, the right move. In real time, I thought they were crazy for what they did. But the fact that Brady wants to keep playing is playing at this high level, I'm not sure what other better options they have. I think the only way that move could have possibly worked is if Tom Brady came out and, and really played so poorly the first six or seven weeks that they had no choice but to keep him no matter what because there was nothing else to turn to. Once they saw how well he was playing and putting up the MVP-type mm -hmm. numbers, they had no choice but to at least try to get something yeah. back. And Garoppolo, Garoppolo had the leverage. And the number one leverage he had was he was seeing Tom Brady every day. Yeah. Tom Brady starts saying, I'm going to play until I'm 45. Garoppolo sees him. He sees his regiment. He sees how good he is. And Garoppolo wasn't going to sign a under market value deal with the with New England to stay there. Like it was time for him to play. So he they couldn't do anything but trade Garoppolo. And they tried to make the best deal that they can by trading him to the NFC, NFC and trading him to, with Kyle Shanahan. Well, the NFC part of it is noteworthy because even once Tom Brady's done playing football, the New England Patriots will continue playing football. They will continue fielding a team that will be in the American Football Conference. And there has been a changing of the guard in as far as the quarterbacking conference to conference. For a long time, the AFC was it was if you didn't it was Brady, Peyton Manning, Big Ben, Philip Rivers who might damn well one day make a hall of the Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. He he could never make a Super Bowl out of the AFC. Right. It, you had these great quarterbacks in the AFC with a bunch of question marks aside from Aaron Rodgers in the NFC. Now, other than Tom Brady, you look around the AFC, you're like, okay, the a the rest of the AFC East, there's nobody. The AFC North, who do you feel great about the quarterbacks there other than Big Ben who's getting older? The AFC South it's a bunch of young guys with question marks. And Andrew Luck. Deshaun, what, Deshaun Watson, who could be great yep. but hurt. Andrew Luck could be great but hurt. Marcus Mariota, we don't know. And Blake Bortles. In the AFC West, the Broncos don't have a quarterback. Derek Carr coming off the bat. Mm -hmm. So if Garoppolo, had, if you had traded him, 
Well, let, let's just say you could have gotten a better draft pick from an AFC team. Would that 30 extra spots in the draft be worth the trade-off of he's a guy you're going to have to go through over the next six, seven years in your conference to make a Super Bowl? I don't know. So I think getting him out of the conference was a huge win for them that I think got overlooked when people were like, and why they, wouldn't they trade And they turned, turned down substantially a, a substantially better trade package with Cleveland because Garoppolo wouldn't go there. What Cleveland was offering was so much better than San Francisco, but the AFC thing is real, and Garoppolo and his agent would not sign a contract extension with Cleveland. All right. Coming up, are the Eagles on the first